all over the United States. Homebrew clubs meet to make, drink, and talk about beer. This is the Crude Brew Crew Homebrew Club out of Torrance, California. Welcome to our Brew Club! Back for another episode of the Crude Brew Cruise Home Brew Club meeting. How are you doing, Noel? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Awesome. It's been another great day because it's a Tuesday and I'm drinking beer. It's always great. <laughs> yeah, it is. So, what's going on in this meeting today? Well, we're brewing our Christmas beer early, obviously. Wow. Early. We're getting it ready. Um, it's a recipe that I just kind of threw together. It's um, 20 pounds of Maris Otter, 10 pounds of Munich and five pounds of flaked oats, one pound of Simpsons Extra Dark. And we did a decoction mash on it to raise the temperature, the mash temperature from 142 to 156 was our goal. We ended up at about 154. And uh, we just started our, our boiling. And uh, when we get it to a boil, we're gonna put in two ounces of Sarah Brianca hops, two ounces of Czech Saws, and then 10 minutes before the ends, we're gonna put in the same thing again okay. with five pounds of honey. And then we're going to ferment at normal 70 degree temperature and but then we're going to age it um, or we're going to just do an extended secondary with French oak, rum, vanilla, nutmeg, and cinnamon. Is that what makes it Christmas? Because I was that trying to find exactly, out why. Exactly. Okay. See, it's a winter specialty spiced Christmas. Oh, so Christmas good. spices. It's a spiced beer. Okay, so to make it a spice beer, it's just because you add the nutmeg and the vanilla and all those other ingredients. Right, and it. and it should, and um, I'm hoping to get uh, enough residual sugars to kind of balance those. Because I want a lot of those flavors in. I want a lot oh. of spices in okay. it. So hopefully it'll be a heavy enough beer to support that. So that's what I'm going for, and we'll find out. So is it kind of like a Christmas cookie? Well, except... Like Christmas cookie beer version? Except the batter's not as good to eat. Yeah, um, darn. <laughs> Yeah, can't lick this batter now. <laughs> but we do have a lot of good beers on tap today for the brew club. Um, so a couple left over from the festival, the Sour Scotsman. We already ran out of the Quickie IPA that Jeff brewed, but we also have the Jailbait Bitter is still on tap. That was a good and one. Jeff brought, um, I think it's called Devil's Advocate or something from Mammoth Brewing. Really, really good. I'm drinking it right now. It's a Stein beer. He said it's called a double pale, but it tastes like an IPA. Okay. Really good. Awesome. Well, we're going to go around and say hi to everybody, and we'll let you continue on brewing, okay? Cool. Mr. President. Hi. So, your name is? Ben. Ben. Ben is our member. He's one of our newest members. He's actually joined about eight months ago. Yeah. Awesome. How did you find out about us? Uh, I was at Select uh, Bottle Shop, oh, and nice. all the guys were wearing these shirts, and I said, how do I become a member? And they said, sign up, and it's just been a romance ever since. Oh, you just came over to a random person's house and started brewing beer? Yep. Didn't your mom told you not to just play with strangers? I play with strangers a lot. <laughs> That's awesome. So, do you live in this area? Yes. Awesome. So what have you learned now since being in the brew club and has it inspired you to start brewing? I did start brewing. Uh, this is actually my first beer that I brew. It's a pancake brown um, with uh, maple syrup, hazelnut, and vanilla extract. Wow. And so that was my first and I got second in the new members competition. Congratulations. I'm very proud of you. I cheers you out a beer, but I don't. So I'm very proud of all the stuff you're doing right here. You're in the brew club. Or is there anything else outside of here that you're doing with brewing that you can let the Just audience know Just drinking. Just drinking. Just drinking. We encourage <laughs> Trying that. Trying new beers. We encourage that even more. Yes. Any new beers you've tried recently? Uh, I've been going, uh, starting on a Saison phase. I love Saison. I was on the uh, Saison phase about a year ago. Yeah. So. Well, that's awesome, Ben. I just wanted to congratulate you on being our one of our newer members. Thank you. Not completely. And we also want to thank you for bringing new members in. 
Thank you. Yeah. We're a very friendly club to bring people into. So what All right, are we guys. About here? Come, J Bo, are you doing our conversation here? He is. J Bo, come on. Yes. All right, three guys, what are we drinking? What right. were we oh, drinking? All right, what are we drinking? We're drinking the sour that I'm not sure who made, but it's great. No, no, made. Yeah. No, made. There's no name on it, so. Yep, that was, a, that was a sour Scotsman. Sour Scotsman, yep. And the Okay, I haven't tried that one. Yep, Scots what we took to the festival. That was a hit. What are you drinking? I'm drinking something I found in the fridge. Which I haven't tried, which is the maple pecan porter from Sam Adams. Somebody brought over like the variety pack. And... So along with trying our own brew, we actually also try other brews and stuff like that. And when they come out with specialty brews for one of the more popular brews, we still try it. Yeah, we, we like to try everything. We don't just around it's more here. Like a popular company, we but we like to enjoy. The we don't discriminate as well. if you're, you know, a big macro brewer. I mean, you know, major micro brewer. Which one of those? We'll micro or macro? I think they're not really macro yet, so they're almost there. They're like at the top edge of micro. All right, micro. now we're going to have a little fun factoid like of the day. like a macro mini type. What's the, okay, fun factoid of the day. What is the difference between micro and macro, you guys? It's like, large large it's like 500,000 barrels or something like that. It's something. Macro There's is large number. and the other is smaller. Yeah. <laughs> micro oh, is... No, no, nobody's no, ever minuscule. offered no, no. me a macro brewery beer. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Basically, we call it BMC, Bud Miller Coors. And the rest of the little guys that haven't been bought out by them yet, like like Mammoth Brewing, um, right. then those are microbreweries. Macro. But yeah. <laughs> All right, no. boys, don't fight. Don't fight. Be friendly. The only one I know is spelled different, and it's a fish. So, what are you drinking? <laughs> what are you drinking? Uh, this is Mammoth Brewing's Devil's Post Pile. Um, just came back from... Uh, Bluza Palooza. Um, shout out to Mammoth Liquor for having the best selection in town. Um, there's so many beers. There were over 80 microbreweries there. Uh, so many from Fresno, San Diego, Oregon, all over. It was just, it was unbelievable. You could not taste half of what you wanted to. It was fantastic. Sounds like a shame, but it's a good thing at the same time. It, it was very difficult. You you really, you got to give it your best shot. You got to take one for the team occasionally. Oh, darn it. <laughs> awesome. Well, you guys have all got great beers going on here. So we're very excited. I've actually tried the Mammoth beer before. Mammoth Brewery is actually one of my favorites. It's amazing. So if you guys have a chance to go up there, you wouldn't think that place has good beer, but it has great skiing and great beer. Do you so. say that about every beer? No, but I don't go on camera Good. and tell about the ones I don't like. <laughs> so, no, I have opinions. I'm a blonde. I have opinions. Trust me. All right. So, anything else you guys want to add on? And I think I'm good. Nothing has right now. Now that, I've, now that I've had a sip of this, it's actually pretty damn good. So, go Those Sam are Adams. wise words from Jared right there. Go Sam Adams. It's all right. It's very, very maple-y, very pecan so. Very maple-y, very pecan very good words right there. I'm here with Bobby and Laura from the Bombshell Brew Nuts, which is a group that's just recently come into our home brew club. We're excited. That's right. They were on last last month's episode with the new brew tasting. Yeah, the new brewers competition. That's new right. Yeah. Competition. <laughs> I am fumbling my words, people. She's been drinking a little bit. We kind of just like to spread awareness and love to ladies of a particular style and taste and educate about the craft beer movement. What a beautiful thing. I love that. Well, I'm more excited because I brought you guys together because you guys have an event going on. We do. So Bob has been uh, so amazing and has offered to like help us host a Bombshell Brew Nuts bottle share on Wednesday, August 21st, 6 o'clock. I would be lying if I didn't say, uh, you, know, I, I, I'm, you know, I did it for my own purposes. I, I love tasting different beers. And when everybody brings a tasty beer out to the spot, 
So bring a bottle. It's only $5. Brown paper tickets. He's graciously offered appetizers as well with your $5 ticket. Yeah. So it's going to be amazing. Yeah. And, the food uh, is phenomenal, by the way. Thank amazing. you. Yeah. Thank and you. then the bombshells actually just brewed our first batch of beer. So we're going to have some bottles there to try as well. Nice. Yeah. I'm loving this. How did the collaboration come about? We met nauseous. Not yeah, nauseous. We uh, met nauseous for the carriage house. The the Phantom event. Carriage. Yeah, uh, oh, thank yeah, you. yeah, the Phantom Carriage event. Yeah. Okay. And uh, they said that they want to do stuff. Yeah. yeah. And we we said, hey, you know, you guys want to do a bottle share? And <laughs> it's a fellow beer person. It was like, very Hello. casual. <laughs> you know what? Everything was done over a beer. It was. <laughs> Everything was done We're over like a beer. This. So. We don't mess around. <laughs> wow, shocker around these parts. Right? <laughs> so the location is at York Astro Pub at Sophie's in Riviera Village. Yeah, Correct. Sophie's place in, in Redondo Beach. Yes. Wednesday, August twenty-first. Right. And if you guys need tickets. Go on to Bombshell Brunette's Facebook page. You can go on to our Facebook page. You can go on to their website. You can go on to our website. And if you buy your bottle at Adams, uh, the owner there was super awesome and said you will get $10 off your bottle if you say Bombshells at the register. 10%. So off your bottle. One bottle, 10%. 10%. $10. 10%. Oh, 10%. Not $10. Not $10. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, if you buy $100 <laughs> worth of beer, yeah. you can get $10 worth. <laughs> then definitely bring it to the bottle share because I want to taste it. Yeah. <laughs> I so want to end up at Adams. Yeah, Adams. And Adams is where? Code word. It's on a, PCH. a P, yeah, it's on PCH. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So is there anything else we should know about your working by tickets besides your guys' website, the brown brownpapertickets.com. Okay. Yeah, just search bombshells, you'll find it. Awesome. Is there anything you want to share about your podcast and your um, your bomb? We're going to kind of implement a little leg of bombshells into their podcast soon, so definitely stay tuned for that. They're Maybe invading fun. the crew crew. <laughs> we Watch needed more out. girls. We <laughs> needed more girls. I'm sorry. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> so, so, more girls Yeah. Yes. All right, anything else you guys want to share? Drink You're beer. awesome. You're awesome, Michelle. I just wanted to share <laughs> that with everyone. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. You guys you guys got another <laughs> open <the> drinking. <laughs> Hey, I got a microphone, okay? I'm powerful. <laughs>